Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today, we are going to look at some Star Wars stuff. Since Disney has purchased Lucasfilms, the Star Wars properties and things like that, uh, they have released tons and tons of toys. And I love Star Wars toys. I have collected them ever since they started making them in the 70s. And, um, and they have this line of Power Force toys and uh, i don't know if you've seen these or not but they're electronic toys they they talk they they make sounds from the movie and things like that and um i've actually uh, these have been out a little uh, a little bit I, I did a video about uh, the mandalorian a uh, power force toy that was released with baby grogu a while back um but i got a couple more and you know for for a uh, a, a cheap line of toys you know it doesn't cost much um, they're very detailed and, and very cool. And if you're a Star Wars collector and you like Star Wars toys uh, and you don't know about these, take a closer look. Here we go. Here are a couple of the Power Force Star Wars figures released by Disney. And I like these a lot. They're, <laughs> they're simple, but they're detailed enough to, uh, to be, you know, cool little collectibles to put on a shelf. And this is what the packaging looks like. You may remember I did one about the Mandalorian figure not too long ago. And these are not really any different than that. Uh, you'll notice here on the back, it's got, you know, the button activated character phrases. It's got 13 points of articulation, um, a blaster that lights up. Same thing with Darth Vader. Um, he's got a button where he does phrases and makes noises. Also 13 points of articulation, light up lightsaber, and, uh, and they're motion activated also. So let's take a look real quick at the Stormtrooper. And I love this Stormtrooper. You'll notice that for a cheap little toy, I mean, these are like $20, $25, something like that. He's very detailed with pretty much everything exactly the way that it's supposed to be from the original Star Wars movie. You'll notice here, next to a real costume. Now this is a costume that was made off the original mold from the very first Star Wars movie. Um, you'll see it's the same. I mean, the same exact markings on the helmet. They didn't skimp on any anything like that. Same markings on the chest plate as far as the, the buttons and the dots, the belt, the, um, the knees, the way the armor is constructed at the knees. Exact same thing. So, um, so like I said, these are these are really detailed and, uh, and precise to be cheap little toys. Now, going back to look at the figure a little closer, you'll notice this little pad that kind of goes around his neck right here. Um, that is removable. There's the little little bomb pack that they carry on their, their back. There's the switch to operate the, uh, the power. And this, like I said, removes, it just kind of unsnaps from around his neck. And if we take it off, this is what he looks like. That is the Stormtrooper I am most in love with, with that off. Yes, <laughs> I don't like the pad. And here's some of the noises. There's one, set for stun. All right, men, load your weapons. All right, let's go. Look, sir, droids. Follow me. Inform Lord Vader we have a prisoner. These aren't the droids we're looking for. There's one, set for stun. You notice when I bop him up and down there, that um, causes him to make those noises. That's the motion activated part of it. Um, so let's take a look at Darth Vader. Darth Vader, he, this this toy looks like a football player. I mean, look at that, look at that beast or, or a wrestler or something. Uh, he is thick. And again, nice detailing. Got, uh, got the helmet there, the all the machinery on the belt, the, um, the, uh, 13 points of articulation. The cape right here, it pops on right there on both sides. You could take the cape on or off, but to me, it's not Darth Vader without the cape. So I gotta have the cape on, even though it covers up the details of the back of the toy. And he also makes a lot of noises and does phrases. This is what he does. father 
And if you missed my Mandalorian video, I'll just briefly show you a couple little clips of him and kind of what he does. Uh, this is this is the figure again, same same deal, multiple points of articulation, motion activated. Uh, also has a button where he does phrases and, and uh, sounds. It comes with little baby Grogu that comes in or out of the pack, but you know I think he looks very cute in the pack. And let's hear what he has to say. And that's a couple figures in the Star Wars Power Force collection from Disney. There you have it. That is a closer look at the Star Wars Power Force line of toys that Disney has put out. Like I said they're they're very cool. They're very cool for a cheap line of toys that you can get for you know 20, 25 bucks a figure, something like that. Um, they're really neat to add to your collection. The sounds are great. Uh, they're they're detailed for for what they are, um, and you know. If you haven't seen them before, now you have, and you might want to go get some. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.